What's up guys, JT here, uh, coming at you with another part of the Final Fantasy IX walkthrough, and before I, uh, I kick things off, I forgot you had to deliver a letter to Munte? Munte? Munt? Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the Koopo names, anyway. Um, in today's episode, I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna move along with the storyline just yet. I wanna show you guys just a couple of more little items that you can pick up, so let's go ahead and uh, do that really quickly. Now, if you remember, um, you can still go to Pinnacle Rocks from here, so there, I believe there are two treasure chests in that particular area. Now, if you're hunting for treasure chests to become, like, a master uh, treasure hunter at some point in the game, then they might be a, a pretty good item to pick up. Um, I don't think it's really necessary, though. I think it's like an elixir and a phoenix down, most likely, so keep on moving. But if you're wondering where the hell Pinnacle Rocks is, I don't think we've ever stepped into the outskirts of Lindblom before. Um, I used to do this all the time when I was playing through, because I used to train up Zidane in Disc 1 prior to the Festival of the Hunt, and then he was solo. Because I believe that they have, uh, I forget what the guys are called, the Kata blah 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 blah. And then, yeah, these guys, whatever they're called. I, I think they're called Axe Speak, actually. But here we go, you can see got Auto Haste on, on Zidane. And wow, that did a ton of damage. And then obviously Garnet cannot do anything with her weapon, but... Auto Haste is actually an extremely good ability. I don't think it's nearly as good as Auto Regen, though. And I don't have Auto Regen yet, but once you guys get Auto Regen in the game, I believe it kind of breaks the game. Um, when I first played this game, I actually thought that Auto Regen wasn't as good as the Regen in Final Fantasy VII, but then when you, um, when you get a chance to play around with it, you realize, no, it's extremely broken, because, because I believe that you heal, um, regardless of whether you're, like, on weight or ATB, like, there's no way to freeze it, so it really breaks the mechanics, actually. So here we go, Stardust Rod, I did not equip that yet, so here we go. Mithril Vest, Peridot, Rama, and then here we go, I think you have the Exploda on him, right, don't we? Here we go. And I, I feel like we should have something other than a bandana. Oh, whatever, that's fine. Let's keep on moving. Here's Pinnacle Rocks right here. And unfortunately, we can't go back up into that one area where Ramut was. But if you go ahead and look at the stone tablet, warning: there are reports of an old man's ghost appearing here at Pinnacle Rocks. We were unable to verify the rumor, but we recommend staying away from the area. Wow, these people are afraid of. They're scared of ghosts. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. So. Here we go, let's go ahead and open the, the two treasure chests right here. We got a uh, phoenix down, one for one so far, and the second one, elixir, elixir. The elixir, I'm two for two, all right. I'm feeling good. Da -na 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 -na. And I like how the, the sky looks so much better on the outskirts of Lindblom than when you're actually in Lindblom. Go figure. So, let's keep on moving along with the storyline here, and mm, I'm trying to figure out when I'm actually going to be able to release this video. Because I wanted to talk more about, like, other random things, because, let's see, it is May 12th, and I just saw the Avengers, I think, two days ago, and it was absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. And, uh, like I mentioned before, there, there's a couple of movies I really, really wanted to see, one of which is Spider-Man. I'm really shocked that a lot of people don't seem to be as enthused about Spider-Man as I am. Like, I think... The thing is, I like Spider-Man being, like, kind of a snarky character, and I don't want to, like, go off on a tangent really quickly and then kind of confuse people. Um, I could probably be talking about Final Fantasy stuff, but I mean, if I can just kind of dive into my, my comic book nerd self for a second. Spider-Man 3, or not Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 3 wasn't as amazing. Are you ready? I'm ready. Follow me. The region is waiting on the base level. ATE. Bronze fleet arrives. Oh, no. Why are they loading food instead of valuables on the ship? I wonder if they're going to take them all back to Alexandria. Maybe they're going on a very long trip. Stop that shatter and keep on loading the ship. Aye, aye, bitch. <laughs> Damn them, they think they can walk all over us? We gotta stall more. Let's keep working. Alexandria rules this continent now. Where else can they go and conquer? What do they really want? I don't know, but you know how greedy Braun is. Once again, I feel like those outfits would be so uncomfortable. I wonder where we are going next. I don't know of any kingdom that poses a threat to our country. I'm sure Queen Braun has a plan. There's no need for us to worry about such matters. Come now, we need your help. Some Lindblom soldiers have locked themselves up in the guest room. And is that a distraction? Yes, it is. Perfect, though. Let's keep on going, come on. I wonder what Braun is going to do. Zidane, do we really have to go to the Outer Continent? 
Hey, what's up with you? You said you wanted to go. But what if... What if something happens to you or Vivi? I might not be okay on my own. Hey, are you worried about me? Wait, what? I, well, I mean, um, a princess needs her elite guards. You, you know, I, I'd be stranded without you guys. Are you trying to flatter me by calling me your elite guard? S sorry, I was only kidding. Look, you'll be fine with me. What about you, Dagger? We, we don't know anything about the Outer Continent. Look, I've made up my mind. I don't want my mother to commit any more atrocities. Alright then, I'll protect both you and Vivi. Thank you. Zidane, I'm so glad you're here. Vivi, wait, where's Uncle Sid? Uh, he said, walk, walk, wait here, and, and went away somewhere. Now where could he be? What? Walk, I did it! I stopped the trolley between here and the Serpent's Gate. Walk, walk, that'll show them not to fool around in my castle. Now go, walk, walk. The excavation site is like a maze. Be careful not to get lost. And take this with you. It's a rag. You big dope, it's not just a rag. That is the national treasure of Lindblom. That is an ancient map of the entire world. Wow, uh, thanks. See the world map. Now go before they find you. Zidane, Vivi, please protect Princess Garnet. Uh, okay. Uncle Sid. Walk, don't worry about me. I'm stronger than I look. Now go. They'll squeeze all the Oglop oil out of my body for caught. Let's go, Dagger. ATE. Walk, walk, how infuriating. My, my, they have an Oglop for a region and buffoons for soldiers. Why do they take so long to load supplies? Hmm. You two, I did not give you permission to rest. I understand that things are moving slowly, but keep in mind that the next mission is about to begin. Uh, look, the machine over there stopped, and the trolley stopped coming. Right? Yeah, it made the strange guac guac sound. Uh, I wanted to go shopping before we left the harbor. Any word from the lookout? No, ma'am. Nothing. This must be Regent, Regent Sid's doing. He's hiding something. Come with us, you two. Find the regent. Yes, ma'am. Oh no. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Keep on going right here. And we got Moonte right here. I got a letter for you, right? A letter from Mudan. Thanks, Kupo. From Mudan to Moonte. Oh, it's terrible. Kupo Maki from the castle is missing. Did the Alexandrian soldiers kidnap him or did the black mages eat him? Kupo, I'm so worried. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? <laughs> and I had to do a reference to Dario right there if you guys don't know who that's from. But we can go ahead and save the game right here if we wanted to. Oh, we could talk to this shady looking guy. You're going to the excavation site. It's located directly north of here. You'll see a pond shaped like a gourd. And you might encounter some strange monsters. Hey, do you want to buy something? Yeah, I'll buy something because there's one thing you can buy here. Obviously, there's a couple of new items. Well, kind of newish items. You got some thunder gloves here. Um, the one thing I do want to get... I keep on scrolling down. They have remedies here, and I don't think I have all that many of them, so I'll go ahead and buy another four. Not to spend all my money. And let's go ahead and keep on moving right here. Now, you go right here, you should get a bandana. Fan, freaking fantastic. And let's keep on moving along. Now, before I continue on with the, uh, with the storyline right here, and continue on with my little, like, side thing about how much I want to watch Spider-Man, like, the new Spider-Man thing, I think it's because, also because Emma Stone is, like, amazing, and I love her, but... Here we go. If you go right here, there should be a couple of places. I think there's about two chocographs that you can probably get right here. So let's go ahead and uh, use some greens. Call my chocobo buddy here over here. What's up, Choco? Here we go. Let's open the chocograph menu, and I believe that you can get a uh, you can get small beach and bird's eye lagoon. I think those are the two that you can get. So here we go. We'll go ahead and do bird's eye lagoon first. I believe bird's eye lagoon's closer. Wait, wait. No, no, no. I don't want to get off of the. I don't want to get off of Choco. I want to get. I want to stay on Choco. Here we go. If we keep on moving, I believe we can find a um. We keep on rotating the screen. We should be able to find this island. Hmm. Here we go. So awkward when the bird's just like running in water. It's like 
And it's really hard because when you're playing around in the mist, it's like I think it's all much harder to find shogo graphs when you're looking um, during like disc one and two because it's just really really dark and just a little bit more difficult to find it. I feel like that is the one I'm looking for. If I can just find my way around to that island, there we go. What do you guys think? Does that look like the island? I think it looks a little bit like the island. Perfect! Wow, on the first try, I found a treasure chest. And what do we got? A potions for Phoenix Downs, three ethers, and one magician robe. Way too early for Christmas carols, but there you go. So that is one chocograph down. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the other menu, and let's go to uh, Small Beach. Now, Small Beach, I believe, is on the other side of the area right here. And the reason why I'm doing this is that way I can try to, like, expedite and, like, try to speed up... Um, how quickly you can get these chocographs, because I know a lot of people might have some questions about that. I used to have, like, a really good PDF, which maybe I'll try to find a way to, um, to put that up in a video sometime. That we, it can actually, you can actually locate all the chocographs in the game if you're having trouble, and then we wouldn't need a walkthrough. Because I found that incredibly useful. Like, it's amazing how the fact that they had, like, that play online strategy guide, and they didn't have, um, like, a chocograph area to kind of, like, to help you out. It's really weird, so... Like, I feel really cheated now, like, looking at it. Like, I was so stupid. Like, I bought, like, all these, like, really expensive things as a kid. Man, I am good. Like, I found a treasure chest. Um, two for two. Four remedies, two elixirs, eight rising suns, when one oak staff. And the oak staff, of course, is for Vivi. And if you didn't manage to steal it from the Rahava blah, 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 blah <laughs> bad guy, then you, uh, you got it right there. And that means you can now have the bio ability. So... And before I continue on here, I believe I want to go to Chocobo Forest because I believe there's a tiny little bit of dialogue that I thought would be kind of fun. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, so let's go ahead, go ahead, go into Chocobo Forest. And I talk to the one and only, um, Meme, I believe his name is. His name is Meme. Like an internet meme? Mean. Oh, who is that Chocobo, Koopa? Where's Choco? I'm not sure what happened, but he's definitely Choco. You're right, Koopa, but, but why? Oh... Legend with true, Koopa, I'll tell you a secret. I'm looking for paradise on Earth. Only chosen chocobos can evolve and lead their masters to that paradise, Koopa. Let's evolve Choco so that we can go to paradise. Hmm, okay. There you go. So we can go ahead keep we can keep on digging right here. We can just go ahead and take off. Um, I think I dug up all the chocographs in this area, like earlier on in disc number one, so I'm not gonna bother doing any digging right now. Um, I don't think I'm going to do any digging until I actually get to uh, Chocobo's Lagoon, which I don't think is actually available until about disc number three. And uh, the one other thing I wanted to do is, if you remember, that we had Koopo Nuts. And we had a ton, ton, ton... Well, we don't have a ton of Koopo Nuts, but we should have a ton of Koopo Nuts. Because the way I like to think about it is every single time you deliver a letter in, during Magnet, they give you a Koopo Nut. So if you're, um, if you're really diligent, you just keep on coming back to Gizm Luke's Grotto. And then you give the letter, um, you give the coupon nut, and then you get new items every single time. And they get progressively better. So we're going to go ahead and step up into G um, Gizm Luke's Grotto very quickly, and then go ahead and drop that off. And now I forgot to mention that, if, I think I mentioned a little bit earlier that um, in Popo's Heights, like at the very top of Gizm Luke's Grotto, there was a ton of enemies that are very, very difficult to kill. Um... You probably could fight them right now. If you had the coral ring, obviously that'd be a very good idea. I think they have like 3,000 or like 10,000. Actually, I'm more likely 10,000 HP. So they're actually pretty difficult. But I mean, if you're looking for a good way to train and get your uh, your levels up and kind of break the game, it's a pretty good area to go. I definitely think you'd be able to handle Mag uh, Mandragoras at this point. And we got a Lamia right here. Still freaking ugly. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this one out and I'll be right back. Alright. And I like the way the... Uh, I like the way the Exploder looks, by the way. I think it's a pretty cool-looking weapon. I never understood why it's red. I think that's very confusing. I don't know if that's, like, for Flare. For Flare. But, um... Oh, what the hell? Another enemy already? See, that's the one... That's the one drawback of RPGs when you, like, walk two steps and you run into an enemy. It still reminds me of that Joseph Blanchett film when I used to watch, like, Newgrounds. It was, like, all about random battles, and then it was, like... Cloud looks around, he's like, hmm... And he puts one step down, no, and he gets into a random battle. It, it, it's just really funny. And then my roommate used to really like this other one. I forget what it was called. Freaking A, but I just remember like the... Basically it was like... I think it was like a knight and a black mage, and the and the, and the black mage was ultra sarcastic. And like, it had like a very dark sense of humor. And it's really funny, because then my roommate really likes that, because his humor is just like kind of dark. Oh, I forget what that one was called. If you guys remember, you can go ahead and throw it in the comments below. Because I know that, that somebody is going to recognize that if they're like a big Final Fantasy person and they used to watch like 
we used to watch Flash videos when they were younger, so. There we go. We got a zombie card. I don't want a zombie card. So if I um, if I put a zombie card next to my other cards, does it turn them into zombies too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. I'm sorry. And this is a terrible bad guy who I'm gonna cut out because I'm tired of running into bad guys and throwing him into the video. I will be right back. What the hell? You have been vanquished, and you got a phoenix down and a potion for all my troubles. All my troubles are gone. And I've got a coupon nut to give away to people. Oh, it's a baby moogle. All cute. Oh. Yamaguda, you have a coupon nut. Can I have it? Here we go. I got an elixir. And you want more coupon nuts? Whatever. And then Magami, do we have a letter for you? You want mail? Okay. That's fine. You always want mail. I can't I can't do anything about that. So, let's keep on going. I wish I would have opened up like the, uh, the closer door, but then I decided to do that one loop. I mean, I'd be able to get all the items, but now that means like whenever I try to get through Gizmo's Grotto, I have to make like that giant loop again. It'd actually be faster if I went in through like the Burmesia area, but here we go. But I, I always like the fact that when you're like very high in level, you can just kind of spam the, um, you can just hold down the attack button. So I should be able to take these guys out. Actually, wow, I, I'm surprised that Skeleton didn't die here. You're made out of bones. Die already, or die again. There we go. We're learning a ton of different items, like a boss, a ton of new abilities. And let's keep on moving here. I don't feel like checking that menu right now. I don't care. Let's keep on going. What? What? Oh yeah? You wanna fight me? Challenge accepted. <laughs> Challenge destroyed. Reflect and float. There you go. So I think Garnet's learned a ton of new abilities. Man, I, okay, so I have to check this really soon. Like, my curiosity is going to get the better of me because I kept on clicking too much. So here we go. Mithril Vast. Auto Potion Learn. Stone Killer. Working on that. Here we got the Clear Head ability. Is there anything else you can learn? Right there. And obviously we've got the Magician Robe right here. So let's go ahead and equip, a, equip that on Dagger. Because I don't think she can learn anything else from any of these. And she's really close to learning Rama right now. So here we go. Bug Killer. This is a better item than the, the current one that she has equipped. I believe the mage's hat is better too, because that raises her magic power. So here we go. Mage's hat, Stardust Rod. Anything else you can upgrade right there? I don't think so. There you go. So everybody just learning new items all the time. So here we go. We'll go ahead and upgrade you from to here. There we go. Loudmouth and Fyra. And see, this is interesting, because it lowers his magic defense, but raises his magic attack power. But I like the fact that he's faster when he wears the bandana, so... Because the thing is, is that, like, one point of speed makes a big difference during, in the ATB gauge when it's loading, so... I don't know if that's just me. And there's also a way to, um, to maximize your... Like, basically, like, the, the points that you get. Like, if you have certain, um, weapons and items equipped and armor, then they add, like points to stats and different things like that and I don't know if I'm gonna go through all that because I really don't care I think that's like I think it's, it's like I get I'm kind of a, of a perfectionist when it comes to Final Fantasy but not that much of a perfectionist you know so here we go let's keep on going right here and I believe we're gonna go through one more little cutscene before I um I thought the video for today so we're gonna stop over in Q's Marsh because I believe this is where the excavation site is going to be and we'll go ahead and uh, call over my little Moogle friend here in the save the game before we enter this area. And what in the heck could we possibly find there? Hmm. And I think the sad thing is that we just don't have them. Um, that we no longer have Quinna, because, you know, she was in Clara, right? So, in the Lachenta Wetlands, so. Call me anytime, Koopo. Let's go to Q's Marsh, and let's find out what the heck is in here before I cut the video for today. Now, this is a swampy area. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the rescuers, you know, with uh, Bernard and Bianca. Wait, what the? Quinna, wait, wait, you're safe? Long time no see today. Much travel coming back from Clara alone. Wait, do you know a way to get to the Outer Continent? I heard there was an entrance somewhere around here. Wow. <laughs> Getting right to the point. 
Outer continent. Maybe I find more delicious frogs. Sounds interesting. I help you and I eat more frogs. I come with you. So we got Quinna back. <laughs> and I love how Zidane had like no... He didn't care at all for, for Quinna. It was like, how are you doing? How do we get to... How do we get to the outer continent? Like, what a jerk. Here we go. We got the gold choker. And here we... Ooh, we can learn some stuff here. MP plus 10% clear-headed and millionaire. Ooh, I want to be a millionaire. So freaking bad. Sitting next to Oprah and the Queen. Here we go. But you're going to get more gil after battle if you equip that. I don't think that's really important. i do that. And I forgot. Oh, yeah. I wanted to do one more thing. I wanted to take auto potion off of BB. Because uh, he doesn't need it anymore. Because otherwise, he's just going to keep on... I'm going to keep on wasting all my MP. But here we go. We got some frogs hopping around here. And I believe that, uh... That Quan was over here. So let's go ahead, uh... Well, not Quan. What was the guy's name? Quan's friend. Hey, do you know of any excavation sites in this area? Excavation site? Hmm. Maybe I hear about it. Maybe not. Maybe. What do you mean, Maybe. I only hear about excavation site around this area. This marsh road covered in brush. Maybe there's a road to excavation site hidden somewhere. Quinn I might know. Hidden in brush, huh? Well, uh, thanks anyway. Way to be really cryptic. I love how he's like, maybe I do, and maybe I don't. But I'll never tell you because I'm a, not, I'm a jerk face, so. Now, obviously, there's a ton of really big frogs in here, so I should just be, uh, go ahead and uh, wrap up the video today by catching frogs. And, uh, frogs again... Yep, just for a little while. And of course, like I mentioned before, if you really want the frogs to spawn very quickly, you want to make sure that you have more... You make sure there's like a male and a female on the pond. You're working hard, Quinna. You come far along way of gourmand, I give you this. Perceived an ether. Thank you, Master Quayo, I train more. Keep on training. Here you go, I want that one. No, 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 no. Am I done catching? I'm not done catching. I catch some more. <laughs> I love Zidane's reaction to that too. He's like, no. Mine. <laughs> oh, you are one lucky frog. <laughs> you are a lucky bug. Okay, I cannot... I do not have the turning radius to catch that one. Come on. Mine. Fury. Fury. <laughs> yes. Now that one hopped really far out. Okay, I have no way of telling whether they're um they're males or females. Here we go. Let's catch one more. Now I believe that gives you the. Like, that'll probably leave you what like two and two or like two and one. Mine. No. I'll leave the golden frog in there. Come on. Ah. Yes. No. Okay. Instead of turning, I will just stand right here and then make a beeline. And why is it called a bee line, by the way? Like, a bee line, like... Like, bees, like, freaking go everywhere, right? They're, they're like... It would be, like, loopity, loopity loop circles. I don't know why it would ever be called a bee line. That makes no sense to me. But whatever. Just like as the crow flies. Like, have you ever seen a crow? He's, like... Turning and doing his own little thing, so... No! Yes, I got you. Okay, so we got... <laughs> what the... Ah, damn it. I had a chance to catch another one. It's fine, I got eight. That's all. <laughs> and uh, with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and um, stop the video for today. Had enough, Quinnet? I done catching. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. As always, um, I always appreciate the support. If you enjoyed the video, um, feel free to click the like button. It really helps me out. It helps people find the video. Um, let me know that you want to see more. Um, which is always, like, a really big motivating factor for me. And, like, it's always nice when you know that people um, watch your videos and enjoy them. So, um, if you do... Um, feel free to leave comments and likes and all those little things that, uh, that make it really fun. I don't always respond to every single comment. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> I used to do that all the time, and then I just kind of, uh, it kind of just got really, really difficult, and it got very, very time-consuming, and it's not like I don't want to spend the time. It's just, like, I have to use my time elsewhere. So, but I do read all of them, and when I always try to make an effort to uh, respond to questions when you guys actually ask me something. Like, if you have a question regarding something in-game where you can't locate something, I really try to, um, help out with that, but, uh, Thanks again for watching, um, thank you for tuning in, and we pick up next time, we're going to locate this excavation site, and uh, yeah, talk to you soon, bye.